Hey, so this is my hair. <laughs> and if you've seen my previous video, you've seen that after I took my braids out, I tried to do a two strand twist style and I ended up turning that into a puff. So I wore the puff for the weekend and I decided that since my hair is out and I plan on keeping my hair out, no um, extensions throughout the course of the summer. I figured why not challenge myself to try to do um, weekly protective styles or just styles with my hair. Um, so today we're going to do a half protective style. I want to attempt to do flat twists in the front section of my hair and then I guess leave the back in a puff unless I feel like two strand twisting it. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I have my moisturizing mix here. So this consists of warm water, a couple of drops of castor oil, and about 40 pumps of my, um, what is this? Shea Moisture's Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner. And this is a mix that I got from Black Is Beautiful, who is a, um, a vlogger on YouTube. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet the front section of my hair with this moisturizing mix. Rat tail comb to part from my ear, I guess from one ear to the other. And I use some long duck blow pips just to pull my hair back. Okay. And then I'm just gonna I have my Denman brush, so these are the tools that are needed. <laughs> Would be the rat tail comb, as you've seen, that separate apart um, my hair in the part, and then I'm gonna use it to part my two swing twists. And then I have my Denman. I don't know which Denman this is, but this is a Denman that I've had for a while. Um, I'm also gonna use possibly some Echo Styler gel, or Eco Styler, however you like to say it just to put on my edges and I am using the as I am double butter cream to twist my hair so I'm just gonna grab a big section and use my Denman to detangle um, and this is this is today Monday so this is three day old hair because I washed my hair on Friday. And then I'm gonna take my part from the back at a slight angle and try to do a part. Cause I want it to be slanted, but I don't want, it to, want them to be too small cause I don't want to be twisting all day. So let's get a little more. Take my Denman and run through that. My hair is detangled. And then I use a little bit of Echo Style Adjuster, just a little bit. That's even a little too much. But I'm going to just put it right on the edge and at the bottom here. I don't need much there, but work that through and then use some double butter. Work down through. Use my Demon again to make sure the product goes through, and I'm gonna proceed to. I think I'm gonna do. I guess it's a two strand twist. Um, this is not a tutorial, but if you can see how I'm doing it, then you can learn from it. But I'm just taking the hair, taking my left finger, index finger and going up under and grabbing the rest of the hair. I 
then I'm switching the hairs in my right hand. I'm taking my finger and I'm parting through some of the hair and I'm just grabbing as I'm going. Picking it up, dropping. Picking it up, dropping. Okay? Um, if requested, I probably can do a more in-detailed video on two-strand twist, but I'm not a two-strand twist pro. I could do it, but as far as teaching, that's a little bit difficult. Can you see that? And then I just wrap the hair around my finger at the end. And there we have it. Um, not sure how I feel about that, but let's keep going. Come up from the back at an angle to grab the hair that I want to twist. Use my Denman to detangle. And my hair is pretty detangled, so that's good. I wasn't doing anything to my hair at night with my puffs. All I was just doing is Echostalgia. All I was just doing was just putting on my bonnet and going to sleep. And then the next day, just using some water or my moisture mix to um, fluff my hair out and then do my puff again. And then some double butter. Rub that through. My diamond again. And start my twists again. My ends are a little rough. I think it's maybe because it needs a trim. This is the hair <laughs> pretty much that I started off with after I did my big chop in October. So that was about seven months ago and I haven't trimmed it yet. Um, so I'm probably not going to trim my hair until October of this year, 2013, excuse me, where I've let my hair grow for a week. I mean, I'm sorry, a week. Where I've let my hair grow for a year and then I'll take off, um, do a, a trim or just a dusting of the ends. Okay. So here's the second twist. What I'm going to do is I'm going to proceed to continue. Um, I think when I get up to the front, it's going to be a little deeper. Because I don't like it straight back. That's why I'm going at, a, at an angle. Um, yeah, so I'll come back as I get a little further. Okay. So I have uh, two more pieces left on the left side to do. So this piece here and then I have one piece here. So I said let me come back on camera and show you all that. I've already put my the Echo Styler Gel and the Double Buttercream on it. And now I'm just going to proceed to twist. And it So this is the look. Take out the rest of the clips. Now, I don't know what I want to do <laughs> with the rest of this hair. I really don't feel like um, two strands twisting it. <laughs> and I don't want to leave it like this. But what I might do, um, I'm going to moisturize this area. I'm going to pick it out because this is a twist out that I did on Friday. My twist and curl. So I'm going to pick it out and see what my hair is looking like. So I'm wondering, I think I'm just going to make this into a puff when I go into the office, when I go to work tomorrow. And then have the, the, the twist pinned back so it'll look something like this. 
I think that's what I'm going to do. This took me, I don't know, not even an hour to do. Um, I was watching TV while I was doing it. I was moving pretty, pretty fast. And you can see that the twists are fairly big in size. Um, I think this would be an excellent opportunity for me to also try out different products. So, like today I use the as I am double buttercream with the echo salad gel so I can see what effect that'll give me I am gonna use a scarf I'm gonna do that now to just tie no I wanna use my oil and I'm just taking this and I'm just gonna apply the castor oil my hair is still a little moist from um, the spray so I'm just gonna apply this to my scalp and do the same thing on this side Ooh. Here, put a little on my hands, not that much, and I'm just gonna smash it. Oh, my castor oil has a few drops of um, peppermint oil in it as well. Okay. And then I'll put up pictures of what it looks like when I put it into a puff when I go to work. I'm not going to do it tonight because I'll be planning for bed. But it'll look something like this. And I'll use um, this little, this was the satin scarf that I used while I was relaxed for my braid outs that I just cut into a couple pieces. So, um, you know, I don't know how, I'll probably pin Do the puff somehow. Something like like this and then use bobby pins to pin down the hair. But I'll show you all pictures. But this is a rough version of what it will look like. And this is how I'll be wearing my hair for the week. So what I was saying in reference to products, the next time I do this, since I feel that my hair looks really, really dry, I can try something else to see if it makes my hair more shinier, see how my hair feels, and that way I can kind of narrow down the products that I use because I do have a lot of products. I am a product junkie. I'm trying not to purchase any more products, but I have a whole bunch of products that I need to to use. So this will be fun, just doing something different with my hair, even the same style, you know, flat twists with my hair to help me get a little better at it, using something different, maybe flat twisting it instead of two twins, two strand twisting it. Um, next time maybe I'll braid it. So there's so many options that I can um, do with this hair. So this is just my little scarf, satin scarf, I guess. Um, and I'm just gonna put this over my head to tie the twist down. Don't want to tie it too tight in the front because I don't want it to leave a dent. And then with the tail, I just pull it down and kind of tuck it under. And then there's my bonnet. Put my bonnet on and go to sleep. So stay tuned for the pictures of how I'm going to wear my hair this week.